16th, the 7th of July. Let me tell you how my day went. Maybe I need to clean the lens. Hold on. All right, that is much better. So it is 1.30. 1.30. Got up this morning late, around 9 something. I didn't want to get up at all, to be truthful. Um, made me a coffee, went outside. It rained enough that I just worried about the watermelons and the cucumbers and gave them extra water. And a few tomato plants. Okay. We're fine, right? Then I rearranged my whole porch. I changed my mind how I want it for the new griddle. Um, it's not done. I'll show you when it's done. And I haven't seasoned that. I haven't turned it on. Anything. Because listen. Listen to my stupid day. I come in the house. Willow can't stop throwing up. And she'd already thrown up a hairball. So that made me really worried. She threw up like 30 places. I was following her around cleaning it up. Um, so I was about to wait Dino up anyways. When I realized we have a whole entire trail of about a thousand ants. Not lying black ants into my house. In my friggin house. So here I am grabbing vinegar, squirting that down the whole entire floor, all the wall, all the way from the um, back door, which meant I had to move tons and tons of furniture, y'all. Lots of furniture. All right. Gets amazing deep cleaning. Got a bunch of cat hair. I didn't know that was behind the furniture, but holy freaking. Okay. So this took me about an hour. I woke Dino up during this time because I was worried about Willow, I couldn't watch her and combat all these ants, and I was a little freaked out with all these ants inside my house. Um, the back porch is drenched in ants again, and that's where they're coming from. Um, so it took me about an hour. I have not moved the furniture back and will not be moving it back anytime soon because we are waiting until tomorrow when Amazon can deliver the combat little ant houses because they work better and you can't, I'm allergic to poison so much and we're going to line them all on the back porch, not even inside my house because that's where they're coming from. If we can stop them at the door, um, we won't need the poison inside my house, right? And I'm finding stragglers here or there, killing them. Um, so, so we did all that, took care of that, went outside for a little bit, um, Dina was getting me my propane tank, and thank freaking God, thank you God so much, and I mean this, I really do, because his hand was right there at a nest of black widows, and thank God they did not bite him, and there were five, and they were huge, holy crap, holy crap, um, we managed to kill one or two, but I don't know what happened to the rest. And thank goodness it was in the yard and not on the actual porch. But, yeah. I do have my propane tank. I have scrubbed it down with Dawn. It was very hard getting the webs that um, Black Widows make off the propane tank. It's so thick. It's like glue. It's what I think Spider-Man would use. Like, it was very hard. I had a pressure washer jet on. Still was not taking it off. Um, but I finally got it all off. Scrubbed it with Dawn. Um, so once it dries, I'll be bringing that in. Uh, it keeps thundering and lightning, but no rain. So I can't really be on the porch seasoning right now anyways. And like I said, I still am debating on one thing with the porch. Um, so that has been my day and it's only 1.38. Okay. I have eaten, I ate, um, a half a cup of potato um with a full cup of low fat cottage cheese and that's all I've eaten plus one coffee I just made my second coffee right here and it's my last coffee of the day um so let's discuss something really fast I should make this its own video but I'm afraid I'll forget to discuss it tomorrow so let's just do it I've gotten a lot of comments. One comment is, I think, a local viewer. So I did not erase their comment. I let it through and I will answer it. Um, but I've gotten a lot of comments from people I've never heard of before telling me, um, like the one viewer, that I should go ahead and start my diet now. Why am I waiting? Um, holidays, everyone likes to eat everything, you know, so I need to lose weight before then. Okay. So. I'm going to assume these people have never watched any of my videos and maybe I just confused the one viewer. So I'm going to, I'm going to break this down for you. I am lucky on any given day right now for the last few months that I have eaten over six to 800 calories. And that is only because of my coffee. I'm not going to lie because I and my protein is in the garbage. 
barely getting protein unless it's coming from cottage cheese right now. Um, an occasional hamburger or occasional steak when I can stomach it. I have mast cell activation syndrome, which means food can make me desperately ill. Okay, it can swell my throat completely shut. One bite. And then the next day, no reaction to it. And then the next day, reactions for a year or two from it. Okay, and I'm talking about grapes. I'm talking about chicken. I'm talking about everything. Okay, this is really scary. It's like, you know you have an allergy, so you never eat nuts. When you're on mast cell activation syndrome with severe high histamine issues, anything can give you that reaction. Okay, a grape swole my throat shut two years ago. It's when we knew something was wrong. Um, I started, everything I started eating, even stress swole my throat shut. I had an anaphylactic episode from stress because it's my cell activation syndrome. My cells are going crazy. They think I'm having allergic reactions 24 seven and they are going nuts. So, okay. Um, people with high histamine that doesn't have um, high histamine intolerance and does that have mast cells also can have these issues. They're just not as severe. Usually, usually I'm not saying all the time. They're not as severe. So, um, I am afraid of food. I cannot eat chicken. I've tried a billion times. I cannot eat chicken. I cannot eat turkey unless it's just boar's head, low sodium, um, deli meat turkey. I cannot eat ham. Like I can get away with a few bacon here or there, but not tons of bacon. I haven't found one that isn't giving me migraines. I've noticed the bacon I ate this week gave me severe migraines. I tested it twice and I got migraines from it. Um, I have never been able to eat pork chops or roast of pork or any of that. I'm, my allergy test actually says I'm allergic to pork. I'm like a three, almost four when it's one through five. Five is where, you know, you should not be eating it at all. Three, you can eat it occasionally, um, but it makes me very ill. Um, we won't even discuss how ill chicken makes me. If you see my videos, you know it is horrifying what chicken does to me. And I am very upset because I love chicken. And that was not a thing before. <clears throat> that was not a thing. I could eat millions and millions of pounds of chicken. And that is one thing I'm having a hard issue with protein. I also do not process animal fat. I've never been able to. And I think that's where I went wrong doing carnivore because I listened to people. I was doing amazing on carnivore amazing overcooking my fat overcooking my beef not adding tons of butter not adding the beef fat not eating the beef fat eating really lean beef i was fine i was fine and i listened to everyone's mouth and i started eating that stuff and i got so freaking ill with my gerd i have stage 3 gerd plus ibs dc it got so freaking bad so bad that it fried my taste buds again. I couldn't eat beef because it tastes like roadkill. It's starting to get better though. It is getting better because my heartburn has died down. Wendy was right. It was frying inside. I tried the salt solutions and stuff to clean it all out, but it just was not working. But over time, my taste buds are coming back again. Um, so when Harry says he's having severe issues from it, oh my God, I know where he's coming from. I know where he's coming from. It destroyed me. It made it so bad that I started having, I, beef was the only thing at that time I could eat without having um, any kind of episodes, right, of the mast cell, which is horrible, the flare-ups I get. Um, and I had to end up going to um, Hawaiian rolls and just deli meat. And just not any deli meat, but boar's head, low sodium or no sodium, turkey and ham, nothing else. Everything else gave me reactions. Um... And it was because I had made myself so sick eating the animal fat. And I probably would have been fine if I didn't eat the animal fat. But I'll tell you, I do agree on one thing. I would have had no energy. Eating no fat on a carnivore diet started taking all my energy away. I couldn't lift things. I couldn't do all this physical activity, work in the garden. I, when I would sweat, I would get really sick. Um, like, I noticed I could not do things. And that is why they tell you to eat the fat. But I can't do it. So carnivore, even though it's amazing for so many people with my stupid issues, it did not help. It made it worse. And I know so many people on mast cell activation syndrome goes carnivore and they're perfectly fine. But I have a few other conditions, including stage 3 GERD, that makes it impossible for me. 
It just does. And I have a problem with my blood sugar lowering. It did not regulate. It got really bad. Um, so this is the problem. I'm under eating and I'm probably eating about 75 to 100 um, total carbs a day. Some days might even be 150. Um, but the calories are 100% under 800 a day. Am I hungry? No. Am I dizzy? No. Do I feel fatigue? No. I feel fine. I feel absolutely fine and I'm drenched in sweat all day long because I'm outside working. Um, but that's not sustainable because come winter, I know I will put weight on from those carbs because I won't be sweating like that, right? I won't be lifting and sweating. I'll be bundled up and cold and probably not really wanting to do much. Um, and then my weight will start shooting up like it always does. Okay, I'm not worried about me eating stuff for Thanksgiving and Christmas because I'm scared of food. I'm not going to lie. I'm terrified of food. I'm, my sister made what sounded delicious lemonade, blueberry, homemade from scratch pound cake. Did I take a single bite of it? No. No, I did not take a single bite of it. I had no desire because what if I had a larger reaction? None. No, de no desire. I have no desire to go get little Debbie's, Krispy Kreme donuts, Dunkin donuts, because the last time I ate anything like that, my throat swole. So no, I have no desire. I have no desire to overeat because I get so sick. So sick, y'all. So sick. Now I've discovered I can eat a certain brand of New York strip hamburger patties perfectly fine, at least so far, but I cannot do it by itself and I can only have one, meaning I have to have it in a bun. If I have it in a bun or a Hawaiian roll, I am fine. I have no reaction, um, which adds about 30 carbs to it. Um, I can't do keto because it's adding fiber. I can't do any products that add fiber. I've already tried. It makes me desperately ill. Um, fiber is not my friend. I can't do vegetables. Not my friend. Um, potato is the only vegetable I really have gotten away with. And that's it. I, um, I can do blackberries all day long. I'm going to go to the farm tomorrow or the next day and give me some blackberries. Uh, because when I do blackberries, I can do my ribeye steak and blackberries and I don't need, I don't need potatoes. I don't need bread, but it is not low. Like it is not just a tiny little quarter cup. It is at least a half a cup to a cup of blackberries. Don't ask me how many carbs that is because I do not know. I have not been tracking that, um, at all, but I feel amazing after eating them. My fingers have died, but I feel absolutely amazing e eating them and adding them to my diet. And I will be honest, the first three years of keto, um, I ate a lot of raspberries and blackberries. That was a part of my daily diet, like every day. Because, all right, in the beginning, the first year that I did not record anything and I lost the most dramatic amount of weight, um, I was doing keto wrong, according to a lot of people, because I was just... It, there was not a million pounds of information out there, right? And everyone did net carb keto. Most people were doing 50 net carb that I was watching. So basically all I did was um, take away the breads, the candies, the sugar. Um, I didn't really weigh. I didn't track. I ate a lot of um, blackberries, raspberries, some strawberries. I was eating sugar-free whipped cream. Um, I did heavy cream, butter. I was doing the collagen in the coffee, even in the beginning. I was doing a lot of Quest chips, a lot of Quest bars. Um, I don't think the chips were out at that time. I think it was something else. I think it was a different brand. Um, I was doing a lot of stuff like that. A lot of keto bars, tons of keto bars. Um, and there's a lot of people that lose weight that way. So my journey, my hardcore journey that I'm going to start in probably August, September timeframe. And the reason I'm giving myself time is because of there's a lot going on the next two months and I don't want to feel like I failed. Okay. September, everything dies down for a very long time. Um, so this is what my journey will be staying. 75 total carbs or less 
and being as clean as possible other than a little sauce that I will show y'all. I've showed y'all before. Um, it's probably the only dirty item I allow in my diet. Meaning, fresh potato if I decide to eat potato. Fresh, um, trying not to eat any deli meat if possible. Like, trying not to do... Oh, I didn't know there was a cat out there. Trying to not do processed foods is my main goal, okay? And we're going to be using the Blackstone a lot, by the way. A lot in my videos. A lot. And most of the dinners, maybe not breakfast, but most of the dinners will have a lower carb version versus a higher carb. It will be two things going on because I will want to cook me some food and I'm cooking my family food. Like when I do Philly steak, um, well not steak, um, but Philly steak sandwiches. When I go to do those, um, it will have their version, which will have way more carbs in their bun. They will have onions and peppers and mushroom. And mine might just be <laughs> cheese and the meat on a lower bun, a bun with less carbs, one that I can get away with, like maybe the hot dog um, ballpark for my bun. That is literally what I'm looking at, y'all. Um, it doesn't have to be a lot of carbs, but I notice when I try just to eat meat, whether it's the deli meat, whether whatever it is, I have an episode and I'm throwing up and the heartburn is horrifying. But if I eat a lot of blackberries or just, which equals the same amount of carbs in the end, or just a little piece of bread or some potato or a little, um, Italian, um, pasta, it's Italian pasta, not, not here. Um, I'm fine. Now I can't have all bread. I can't, there's, I can't have Wonder Bread. I can't have Marita. I can't have any of those kind of breads. I can't have those kind of sliced breads. Um, I've gotten away with ballpark buns so far and Hawaiian rolls. Anything else I do not get away with. I am on the floor crying. Um, I have severe intolerance to food. Um, it wasn't this bad before Delta version of COVID. Yes, I said it. Um, it was not that bad at all. I could eat tons of stuff. Go watch all my old videos. You would have seen I was eating cabbage. I was loving keto. I had so many options. But over the years, the more and more version of COVID I got, and they think I just had the flute version. They think that's what the big horrible migraine was. And my dad had lost his taste and smell. It's finally back. Uh, everyone had a horrible cough. Dino ended up with bronchitis. Um... My daughter had a severe ear infection during this time, um, so they think I, that I just had it, and I only showed symptoms for two days, and then I was fine. Um, every time I get another version, I become more sensitive to food, and that is because of the mast cell activation syndrome. My body is attacking itself, basically. Basically. It's horrible. Horrible. But I'm never giving up. Never. Um, so the goal will be more protein, more calories, cleaner, eating two to three times a day because I cannot get enough food in one meal. It's impossible. It will be doing a physical activity still, whether it's the gym, my Oculus, or doing that little thingy I bought um, off of TikTok that I show you. It will also be using the food scale so I can track to make sure I'm eating enough because I under eat. Make sure I don't accidentally go over in my carbs. Um, make sure I get enough protein and also use the body scale every day too. They go together. Um, so that is why I'm, mean, like I said, I have insane amount going on this month and next month. So I don't want to put that pressure on myself, but I am literally building my plan and writing down everything I eat too and see if I have a reaction. We're going to start doing that again because I am having a lot of nose issues too. Now this summer the heat is killing me so I don't like going by the summer views but like I said my weight is basically staying the same or I'm dropping a few pounds here or there um but right now the only protein I'm getting this week is the cottage cheese and I'm about out of it. I really need to go grocery shopping. I'm gonna be out tomorrow. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and get the deli meat um because I have been getting a little nauseous after eating the cottage cheese and the um, potato. I think it's I've had it too much and now my body's about to react to it because that is a condition you can have. Um, to this, mm, 
<laughs> it sucks. I'm not as bad as this one girl. I just remind myself that every day. She can only have baby formula, basically. Uh, so, that, yeah. I'm not bad like her, thank God. So, I'm just... One day it'll shut off. That's all I keep praying for. It can magically shut off and you can be completely back to normal until it turns itself on again. Now, like I said, I've probably had this since birth and all the weird things that happened to me, now we know why. When I was 18 to 20 for, for two years, I was extremely allergic to foods. All I could eat was instant potatoes, only instant, only one brand. It could not be homemade potatoes or nothing. It was instant potatoes, cottage cheese, Campbell's tomato soup, plain chicken breast, only cooked in the microwave, the dinner rolls that were out back then. Um, I don't think it was Marita. I think it was another brand. Um, and a slice of American cheese. There was nothing else in the world during those two years that I could eat. I would have a horrible allergic reaction. It was a nightmare. Now, I was 18 to 20. I lost tons of weight. Um, but as soon as my body became normal again, um, and I was able to eat normal food again, I got really huge quickly. Uh, because I did not know that I was basically, because I wasn't eating that much, I was technically on a low carb because I was only eating a tiny bit of that food. I would eat a lot more of the chicken breast all by itself. Um, and I went back to just eating carbs all the time, not knowing better because back then Atkins was dangerous and going to kill you. So I didn't follow that kind of stuff. Um... And I had episodes throughout my whole life. There, there was a point when I was 16, if I ate anything with garlic pap or paprika in it, I would have to go to the hospital. So that was stupid stuff. Like, you couldn't have ketchup. You couldn't have mayonnaise. You couldn't have um, some buns. Like, the list was huge of things I could not eat because my throat would swell shut. Um, so I've had this my whole life. As a child, I had severe allergies. Like, I tested positive being allergic to every single thing. Everything. Beef. Pork. Chicken. Turkey, and I don't mean a little, I mean a lot. They had me on all kind of medications because of it. I was allergic to breathing, I was told. But that was technically probably just mass cell activation syndrome, my body going crazy. So, so it's something I've dealt with my whole life, and for a while I had gotten rid of. Like, I had calmed my body down until stupid COVID. But we're going to get there again. We're going to get there again. I was going to tell you other stuff, and I totally forgot what it was, and my arm is going numb. Um, so, oh, no babies in bed. It's a mess. I put all those, all their beds up here on my desk, um, so they don't scratch it, and they sleep on it at night. So, got me a new curtain. It's basically a blank blanket, but I love it. I turn it into a curtain. I put it on those little things. Hold on. Let's turn you. I put it on those little hooky thingies, and... It's Betsy Johnson, and I love it. It was like $10. It makes me happy. And I got this one. Um, this one's brand new. It's pink, really a brighter pink than it's showing in the camera. I uh, got a new little side rug for Bear. Got a new carpet over here. Well, it's not new, but I've had it rolled up, and I finally opened it up and put it down. Um, I got this new, and oh my gosh, I wish they had more of this one. This is my blanket that I'm sleeping on um, because I love it. I love the hippie vibe. I would love it in my chair, um, but this is what I have in my chair, but I would love this one in it. Um, so, because of my heartburn, y'all, this is how I sleep. And then cats have knocked it down. But I sleep like that. And then cats sleep over there. But I have to sleep in a sit-up position. I've had to do it for years. Years years and years and it hurts my um hips bad. I'm not even going to lie. My hips are killing me. Then this is new too. So Marshalls had this big sell Marshalls and Ross on all their blankets. So I paid like $10, $13 a piece when I love them. And I've been looking at them for years. But, well, almost a year. But I didn't want to pay full price. So they were all on sale. Now she I paid full price for. Because sooner or later the one over here is going to get too old. And I really love this one. So I did get that one. Also got this uh, a month ago I think. And put up there. 
I call this my little Doctor Who type wall, my little exploring the galaxy type thing. Got my little TARDIS up there as a piggy bank. But, and then this is still basically all the same. And then, yeah. All my little same stuff going on. But this is my little, my little YouTube room and my little sleepy room so I can actually get sleep. I love Dino to death, but I don't sleep well with people, so. But, uh, yeah, shop now. Moms to get the burgers for them. Look, it's thundering. Hopefully I can get this cooked real fast and chew them before we start having some lightning. Okay, I'm not afraid of the rain, but I am afraid of lightning. This is Boots. He's usually a little more scared. Uh oh, I hear rain. Yep, he's still scared. It is definitely thundering, and we are still cooking. I don't like cooking hamburgers on the grill. It catches them fire every time. I don't like cooking them in the house. You can see all this grease going everywhere. No. And I hate the cleanup. Got my little degrease spray after this cools down. I can see that the grease is coming to the front instead of the back. All coming up here. Which means I need to adjust. Staying here too, as you can see. The burgers are just sitting in the long breeze cooking. Yeah, I'm gonna lose weight just by standing by this in the summertime. Totally not lying. I'm gonna need a shower. I did not expect, I should have known, right? Because it's like a hundred times in the day. I should have known. But I don't want to turn the fan on because I don't want to blow anything on it. I think it kind of got me on my chest though, it's burning, just saying. Let me check my new warming door. Holy crap y'all, these are getting hot. Yeah, I would not be putting seasoning. I see people put seasoning in that top drawer, but, and then, and no, no, the warm, no. Don't put seasoning in that top drawer. I'm trying to make it cook faster because it's really starting to thunder now. So don't come at me for kind of poking them a little to get some of the blood out. Alright, I think we're skipping the butter. I'm going to just cook it in its own grease. Yeah, it really is unlevel. I'm going to have to take care of that. Alright, so these are semi-warm. The tops are warm. The bottom did not get that warm. I know if I had the dome, it would melt faster and all that jazz, but I, I don't have it out. It's inside the house. Hear the thunder. I'm trying to hurry. 
because I gotta walk across the hill. It is really lightning now. All right, y'all. Here we go. First, very fast smell because of the thunder and lightning. They smell amazing. And the burger was a win. I only could eat one. Kind of gave me a little heartburn, which I knew it would because I scuffed it down standing there. It was so delicious. It was like freaking amazing. And Dino is one of the pickiest people in the world. If you follow my channel, you know this. You know this. <laughs> How much I complain about him not liking anything I cook and he loved it he has said over and over again it was really really good oh my god it was really really good that is like amazing coming from him amazing if I have time tomorrow um, I have to take my daughter to therapy if I have time I will be coming home and going over to Chatham meat coat if they have any in stock and getting some ribeye shaped tons of ribeye shaped to make some filly 
steak sandwiches for everyone. Um, and I'm going to be filming a lot. Welcome to the series of sweating my butt off in the heat at the griddle. Yes. Can I, can I lose weight by sweating to death at the griddle? I don't know. Let's find out. Mm -hmm. 